Apple just unveiled their new liquid glass aesthetic featuring these realistic looking lensing effects. It's a bit divisive, but I think it looks pretty cool and I'm gonna try and recreate it. I'm using Unity Shader Graph because that's what I know. I would not recommend it for these kind of things. My idea is basically to color the button based on whatever's behind it, but distort the UVs around the edges. A kind of boring way of doing this is to take the shape of an app icon and add a stroke to it in Photoshop and then just Gaussian blur it. We can then import that into Unity as a sliced sprite, which lets us resize it nicely. Next, we need to set the color of the button to whatever's behind it. Luckily, Unity provides this useful scene color node, which doesn't work for UI shaders. So I'm just gonna use the elegant solution of adding a camera, which outputs the background to a render texture, and then use that like the scene color. Then we just need to transform that texture's UVs based on the edge distance texture which we made earlier, where brighter pixels mean more distortion. Next, I want to add some blur. Shader Graph doesn't have a stock Gaussian blur node, so I found this one on the asset store. It's not perfect, but it'll do for our purposes. Another thing I want to add is the outline and highlight around the edge. I'm going to add a stroke in Photoshop and color it using a shape burst gradient. Then I'm going to use this very useful site called Normal Map Online to convert it to a normal map. Unity's height to normal node was causing issues. We can then do some dot product jiggery pokery to add a movable highlight and then just color the rest of the outline based on an even more blurred version of the background. I think it looks pretty cool. I like how the edges kind of lap up the colors of the things around them. Apple's version sort of mirrors things near the edges, which I wish I was smart enough to add. I'm guessing that within like a certain distance of the edge, the scale of the UVs becomes negative, but that didn't work when I tried it. So is the shader practical? Is it performant? Is it scalable? Is it fuck? It runs like absolute Arse on account of the blur. Shader Graph is not meant for these kind of complex, transparent UI effects. The fact that it relies on bitmap textures also makes it a bit less dynamic than it could be. In fact, based on how the shapes blend together in some of the animations, I've seen people speculating that Apple could be using signed distance functions to control the refraction. If you don't know, a signed distance function, or SDF for short, will tell you the distance to the surface of a shape shape, with positive values outside the shape and negative values inside. This could be used in place of the texture I made in Photoshop. You can also deliciously blend multiple SDFs together by taking the smooth minimum of all of their distances. There are some brilliant videos on SDFs which go into much more detail than I'm going to here, and I'm not a graphics programmer, but I did get Claude to vibe code this shader which uses SDFs to let you gloop the squircles together. It has some chromatic aberration, which it looks like Apple is doing too, although theirs is a lot more subtle and the blur stops it being noticeable almost everywhere, but the background of the notification shade, which doesn't have blur, at least in the first developer beta. But anyway, I wanna know what you think of the liquid glass style and how could I improve my imitation of it? I've got a bit more time to work on videos at the moment. I've got some more on linguistics and world building in the pipes, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss those. Okay, ciao. Liquid ass!